Um, OK, so the next thing we're going to work on is a drop step. Hopefully, you guys have all heard this term before. This is a Coach Cook term, or at least I got that from Coach Cook. This is how I was trained to pass deep balls. This is how I train my players to pass deep balls. So the drop step, the key to the drop step is getting the hip out of the way. I'm going to get my hip out of the way so that I can create space for my platform, because one of our basic keys is platform away, right? We've already talked about that. So if I'm getting hit with a deep ball and I don't get my hip out of the way, I'm not creating very much space for my platform here, right? My arms are not away from my body. But I kick this hip out of the way and boom, my arms are away. So the key to the drop step is getting that hip out of the way so it creates space for your platform, okay? So partners are just gonna toss. Let's go with their outside shoulder. So if you're there in right back, you're going at their right side. Left back, we're going at their left uh, shoulder. And we're just gonna work on this drop step. Do like five and then switch. Good. And literally nice and simple with our feet. Simpson over there is shuffling, that's awesome. Iowa State is just one step. Yes. Yes, I do. Good question. So I haven't gotten to this yet, but one of our keys to passing is weight forward. Weight forward. If your weight is going backwards, you're going to have a really hard time controlling the ball, and the pass is going to be playing you, and you're not going to be playing the pass. So even when I'm drop stepping, it doesn't mean my shoulders come up and I'm on my heels, right? Key, another key I haven't talked about yet, but we'll get there is shoulders down. So I can drop step, get this step out of the way, and the weight can still be on my front leg, and my weight is forward, my shoulders are down, and I still have this hip out of the way. Good question. Weight forward is a big key. Good. 